Ahoy there, and welcome to episode 10, where we'll be talking about the inequalities in different hybrids. So, Dr. Alder, tell us, what are the different types of hybrids? Car that is a hybrid vehicle uses two types or more of propulsion systems. So, a hybrid electric vehicle, which is what we're talking about in this episode, is a vehicle that runs both based on a gas engine and an electric motor. So you have a car that can be run with electric power or gas power and some type of possibly any type of combination of those two power options. The way a hybrid works is to take the energy that would normally be wasted when braking, because you create energy by braking and slowing your car, that energy would usually be wasted. However, with a hybrid, it's collected and stored into the battery to help recharge the battery. Now, some hybrids uh, even charge while driving, because just as your battery you normally charges on a non-hybrid car, through the alternator uh, on a hybrid car, the same thing can happen. So you can be charging the car when you're coasting, when you're braking, and when you're using the engine. Uh, but really, the most energy comes from braking. What is a full hybrid? The full hybrid also known as the strong hybrid, is what the Toyota Prius, the Toyota Highlander, and the Toyota Camry, uh, or the, the Highlander hybrid option and the Camry hybrid option are. The Prius only comes in a hybrid option. Now, these cars are using a system that has an internal combustion engine, which runs on gasoline, and electric motors and the strong hybrid or full hybrid can run where it's strictly powered strictly driven by the electric motor strictly driven by the gasoline engine or driven by a combination of the two that is the actually currently the ideal option when it comes to hybrids that is the top of the line hybrid that is currently easily commercially available. What is a power assist hybrid? The Saturn View and Mazda Demio are power assist hybrids. Now power assist hybrids work in a way where the power from the engine is combined with the power of the electric motors. So they both work together to give the car more speed. This helps reduce the uh, the amount of gas used and improves your fuel efficiency. However, it is not as good as the full hybrid. What is a mild hybrid? The Chevy Silverado is a hybrid vehicle considered a mild hybrid. And what that is, is that the car, when coasting or when at a complete stop, has its engine turned off. But when you need the power from the engine, uh, the engine kicks in. So only when you're trying to gain speed or keep maintain speed is the engine on. The engine turns off when you're at a complete stop or when you're coasting and you don't actually need the engine. And what be a plug-in hybrid? Hybrid, not only get the energy in the way a conventional hybrid vehicle gets them, but also can get them off the grid by you plugging it into your house. Now, that has some upsides and some downsides. The downsides is that if your house is getting power from a coal factory, you're burning coal and creating carbon dioxide by fueling your car with the plug-in hybrid. You can have more battery power for when you're driving and you will need to use the internal combustion engine less. The internal combustion engine which is based on petroleum and causes carbon dioxide. Now, 
when you buy a vehicle, if you have the option of a hybrid model and a non-hybrid model, go with the hybrid model. If it's like, that's the vehicle you want to buy, you've got no other choice, that's the vehicle for you, go with the hybrid version. It, you'll get better gas mileage, so you'll save money and it's better for the environment because there's less pollution. However, not all hybrids are equal. You know, we've talked about these different types of hybrids and it's really the strong hybrid that's the best. If you want to buy a car specifically for the environment, you want to, to help the environment as much as you can, then you're probably gonna either wanna wait for the hub plug-in hybrid or if you're in the market to buy a car now, go for a strong hybrid like the Prius. They are the best, you'll get the best gas mileage, and they're designed to help the environment. Now, episode 10, be marking a number that has an X. As in, X marks the spot. The spot where we will be stopping for a while to take a break. Now, I know that might make you sad. You'll miss us, and we'll miss you. We will. But don't worry, we'll be back. See, this is concluding our season one. But we've got a lot more planned for you in season two, including more equipment that will be of it, that will be used in the filming. And since we're ending this season, that gives us an excuse to make a DVD, which will be out shortly, which will include fun things like outtakes and of course, deleted scenes. And we might also have a making of to include on the DVD. So, until next time, which will be next season, may your cars be efficient.